welcome back to Dungeons Dice and Everything Nice, where our group of monster hunters took a curious look into the desert, because they heard if they could find a monodrome skull that they would be rewarded greatly. Now, after defeating the perimeter defenses of whatever this strange tomb is, and defeating a giant ant, they have discovered that most of the monodromes after death just disintegrate. So, will they capture a live one, or will they find something secret in the tomb? Well, it's time to find out. So, <clears throat> you're still in this deserted area of Belbreeze, a little more off the beaten path now, and the door where the giant ant sprung from and like busted through is wide open, and you can see a stairwell going down. It's kind of angled, being buried in the sand, but it's walkable. I'm gonna get out of the jaws of the ant. I'm just like, oh yeah, you're still there. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, is my javelin still stuck in the wall? Yes. All right, I'm gonna go get that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna look at the map, and does the map say anything about this door area? Uh, it was the orb. The eye orb mm -hmm. that was uh, that was crushed during the combat mm -hmm. was like the main Not focus <laughs> of. Cause this is like a tourism yeah. map. It doesn't really have anything about like true information about the area. It's just like check out this glowing blue thing. So the the glowing blue thing has never done this before. No, it hasn't shattered. <laughs> it hasn't broken. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um, so we have. Here. So we have two options. We have the door and the um, leaving. <laughs> leaving, yeah. That, well, three that. options. We have the door, the mine shaft, and leaving. The mine shaft. I think it's time the to split shaft. up. <laughs> uh, Flint, in your bag, there is rustling from the monodrome <laughs> that you just put inside. Um, and occasionally, you'll see a hole in your bag, oh. maybe where a dagger stabbed through. What are we going to do with the monodrome? Do I keep it, or should I just I mean, kill it? Oh, do we need well, it at this point? We need its skull. Well, we, we need, need its skull. skull. Well, well that's, skull the, that's the thing. Is there any chance I can, like, just punch through it and grab its skull out? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We get paid 600, 600. for the skull. Well, or we get paid. He doesn't. Wait, no, no, no. I get 400. <laughs> Well, uh, Why would you have more money than me? Okay, we'll talk, about, we'll talk about prices later. Yeah. But right now, let's figure out how we're going to get the skull to work. We you should, you, should... <laughs> <laughs> you, should you didn't do anything. You missed all your shots. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> this was Saratoga all over again. Oh. Oh. Alright. So, you should probably take the da dagger from it before you have any Most skull likely in should, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll grab the dagger. So, you grab the dagger and it goes. <laughs> Okay. And, and you just go to grab the dagger? Uh, should I try to get his skull out, y'all think? No, 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 the metal is just clanking and shaking against, um, just like you holding its thin arm. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I feel. And you like... have you have a, a dagger too small for you to wield. Oh. Um, <laughs> too big. Yeah, too big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a bad it's dagger. Like it's a. It's a. It's tiny. You it's are thing. Right. Okay. So then we still have this thing. The... I'm a person. Do you close the bag? Uh, that's the bag. Yeah, just probably close the bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll just close the bag. Yeah, we'll yeah. keep it in the. So it's bit. still frightened. You close the bag, <laughs> and it starts moving again, but it doesn't have its dagger. Okay. Occasionally, like one of its fingers it will go out of a hole and be like. Oh, so it's like see harmless. Its eye is trying. All right. All right. I don't know because I feel like we should go explore more, but at the same time, we should probably figure out how. I kind of want to wanna go through the door. I kind of want to go into the mine shaft. Is this door dark? Or is inside of it dark? Inside of it, uh, make a perception check. A perception? Would that be 20? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody make that with them? Yes. Okay. And total two, you have dark vision, correct? Yes. I have dark vision two. I got twenty artificial can, twenty two. No. Artificial twenty two. Yeah. What'd you get? Three rolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three rolls. Yeah. Five. So so as you look and you start looking down, a dwarf moves in your way to take a better look. Um, Flint, you see this kind of old uh, brass and like ceramic staircase going down, and it's faint, but there's like a green light emanating from the bottom of the stairwell. You can also see some of these strange uh, pipes that lead into each other and pause, and there's some shattered glass in between. Hmm. What do you I, see? I can't see. Yeah, we can't see. So you gotta pass a wind. Yeah. You oh, also so yeah. we got, <laughs> you're, we, got we got a ceramic staircase with the green light at the bottom, towards the bottom. We have some pipes, um, and we have some shattered glass in between. Oh, cool. And it's not like his height is like <laughs> stopping it. It's just like he kind of pushed you over to take a look, and it's just how wide he is as a dwarf, and it's just hard to look over him. Mm -hmm. Um, do you guys want to take a short rest, heal up a bit, and then go down? I sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Well, I didn't take any damage. I kind of just want. Well, yeah, I didn't take any damage either. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you! Didn't think he's so stronger than me. Real quick, real quick. If you take a, uh, if I meditate, do I lose my five temporary hit points? <laughs> yes, you will. That's fine. Let's go in there, you and me. Mm. Well, us three. What? Let's go down there. Yeah, let's go down there. Yeah, down there. Yeah, well, no, I need to meditate. What a short rest would do is you would roll your hit dice and heal that much. I didn't take damage. And then, yes. <laughs> for the people who <laughs> did take damage. And temporary effects, depending on their time, would go away. Like mm -hmm. hungry jaws, but maybe if you can hold a concentration, it might continue. Wasn't somebody poisoned? Did you, you want, want to go poison? in there? No. You can go in there. You want to go in there? I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to carry. But oh, 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 oh. uh, Cap. But I mean, like, this you can have like you can have range. range. Minnesota. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I think. Are y'all gonna go oh, in? We're going in. Yeah, just it's yeah. chasm. I, yeah. I want to. I want to go in, but I want to yeah. heal up a little bit. Well, so I, I want to heal up. Yeah, heal up if we. Get any like sort of danger, like if really bad happens, wolves. I'll Let's tell them. Wait, is it dark? Or not? I'll tell a bird to tell you. That's fair. That yeah, you suck. Yeah. How many birds do you find in a dark day, dungeon? <laughs> I'll find a rat. Go find a rat. Yeah. Find a bug. Bug will bug work, I guess. I'm going. I'm going to a wall. Sit down and start meditating. Yeah. So I'll, you're taking a short rest. I'll yeah, take a short rest with us. Mm -hmm. Take a short rest. How about you? I'm not. I'm. I want to. I'm looking. I'm fading. I'm gonna start. Are you? Are you scouting? Yes, we are. You want to come along, you big lug? We could need some help, just in case. Okay. All right, then I'll stay. I'll stay with y'all, so that way it's an even split. Wait, does he All fit right. in the hole? Uh, it, he he might have to adjust. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> the, the giant ant burst out of it. But you thinking if it didn't burst out of it, it might be a tight squeeze for him. But the stairway itself is pretty large. Okay. Just be careful. It's ceramic. Can I, can I, can I, Alright, so should Start. I roll hit points now? Yes. So, Fine. who's staying? And who's us three are staying. Yeah, I'm us three. Alright, the scouting then, party, let's do it! Alright, so, uh, you will not roll health points yet, just because they might find something dangerous, and then you have to go in there and you won't have the benefits of the short rest, or they'll not run into anything oh, we'll at just all. Deal with it. <laughs> um, so, the three of you that are going in are Felix, Flint, and Chasm, correct? Yes. All right, who is... Can I get a walking order? I'm going first. Okay. Wait, so you I just kind of... Wait, I, I should probably have gone first since I have yeah, dark vision. Oh, wait. Dark vision. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't that's have dark thing. vision, but it's Chasm. You, you're the tallest. We need... I think we need Felix in the back. Yeah. He's yeah. obviously That's raised. the thing, you're the tallest. Yeah. It should be shortest to tallest. I'm in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Where yeah, but Chasm doesn't fly around. Back. It should have been tough. But then it'll be fine though because we have two tanks in the top. Roll the for it. <laughs> nah, it's okay, we'll roll for it. That's fair. No. <laughs> Is it? No. Uh -huh. I want to be in the middle. <laughs> no, you need to stay in the back. I have... 
Okay, whatever. And the people who are short resting, you can still hear them. Would well, that's what that's saying, and you just started walking <laughs> towards the opening. I think Glenn should be in the front. <laughs> I agree with that, man. <laughs> you can walk in front of me. I, I mean, y'all should be able to see above me anyways. Guys, yeah. that's yeah. not going to be able to see above him. That's true. true. You know what? Hold on, that's that is kind of true. That is that's a first. first. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that, what I was saying. That's actually pretty true. Can I get inspiration Wait, points can you, for that? Mm, you know what? what I'm saying is Chasm's already walking towards okay. Chasm, 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 Chasm might want to be in the Chasm might want to be in the back then. Well, no, I have just to, move. Because we need to see. Okay, let's we'll just go. Where are we going? Well, we're going to ask the simple question. So first, <laughs> all right. So second, it's, third. It, no. It's okay. So as as Chasm takes the charge, <laughs> just with his his stride, just out beating yours, Flint. As you are led among this cavern, and as you go down the brass and ceramic uh, stairs, you notice where the green light's coming from. Earlier, where you saw the shattered glass and the pipe, well now there's a pipe there, and a glass cylinder, and there's this glowing green energy or goop. You can roll arcana if you want to identify it. All of us can. All you can. I'm gonna do it. All of us can? Yes. Oh, oh I'm gonna use the squirrel again. <laughs> <laughs> 18 plus what? 19. Good 19 roll. plus 0. Okay. <laughs> so we got two 19s and two <laughs> <laughs> no nothing. So, I'm guessing I can't add my plus 1 to that. Why do we break you? You can, <laughs> but two. I don't know why he so, does that all. <laughs> so, uh,. The, uh, the, the, the hardier and sturdier of the dwarf and the metallic warforge <laughs> recognize this as oil of illumination. It's a oil that is, as long as it's under like pressure and as long as there's like nothing interrupts with it or touches it too much, it will keep glowing. And it has this green glow. This is a, this is a green? This is bright? <laughs> it's kind of scary. <laughs> So it's not really anything. Is there any way, like, I could, like, take it with us? Can I roll for that? Or... How would you try? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Oh, tell me what you're going to try to do, and then I'll tell you. Chasm's just going to try to touch it. You guys, gonna, what is that? I'm just going to poke it with my finger. Okay, so you, you poke the glass. It's like a green. So and then green, 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 can I pick up? It's like a... No, no. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's a oh. cylinder. Oh, oh there's, there's two, two pipes. pipes. Broke. Okay. Two pipes. That was early. Uh, you saw one of these earlier, but it didn't glow because it was broken. Does the does the does it look like it can be taken out, or is it? Mm, I mean, the pipes go into the wall, so it might drip, <laughs> or like you might oh, the, like, burst so the, the glass pipe. tube. The, the glass tube, though. The glass tube. Yeah. Is it? Is that I think what he's trying to say is that it's gonna break. Yeah, it's gonna break. If you try to take, to take it out. It. You can try. Go for it. Try. Mm -hmm. You can use a type of tool if you want. You can just brute strength it. Like, what are you trying to do? Guys, I'm trying to figure that out. We are never gonna be allowed back here. I mean, <laughs> just at this rate. Well, no one's been in here, so. I mean, true. The ant was in. Here. The ant was. Yeah, the ant was there, but I guess he was the most talkative person. I don't think he can oh. talk anymore. Okay, so does it look like it's flowing or not? Yes. It is? Yeah. Okay, I want to take my shield, mm -hmm. and I want to put it like this, uh -huh. and I want to break the thing and fill it with it, put it in the shield. So as soon as you, you, you break it, and like the illumination goes on your shield, it like, once it moves a lot, it starts losing like the brightness, and uh -huh. becomes a lot more dim, and then it sloshes around your shield, and then it becomes dark, <sighs> and then like, but there's like bits of like dripping in on it that are like, like, it's a faint candlelight, but like the more it sloshes around in your shield, the darker it gets. Dang. Thanks. <laughs> wow. And you also see, uh, continuing down a kind of opening in the passage, and a large statue that you can't quite see. You can only see the base of it right now. I just. So it's completely dark in the shield now, right? I mean, like all the all the lights faded from the. Uh, there's it's it's like holding a candle but with a paper over the candle. What's uh what's ahead? Uh, the the opening and what seems to be like the frame of a statue. Y'all wanna go check it out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take stuff out of my forward. Sure. All right. Uh, so as you walk down, you see 
the room splits in two, two hallways that go out down, but in front of you is a large, strange mash of geometrical shapes made of stone to look like a humanoid figure. This humanoid figure only has uh, one eye, but has the indentations for more. And it's this strange, just blob of just mathematical shapes. And um, you can roll religion to identify what the statue is. Oh no, it's math. Oh, no, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, seven. Seven? Yeah. Are you, what'd you get? You're on D20. Did you roll D20? Yeah, D20. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't D20. My bad. 17. 17? Oh, so it's 17. Yeah. Brian? The kindred spirits of knowledge here. <laughs> it's because um, we both know Dwarven. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about it in Dwarven? Yes. Huh? Uh, this is a Dude, stone a figure. <laughs> you know, All right. Hey. This is the stone figure of Mechanus, the god of constructs oh. and innovation and discovery. That's a weird looking thing. Looks like that statue, an M, belongs in that name. Oh. I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. How do you spell mechan- was it Mechanus? Mechanus, yes. Do you want me to tell you how to spell it? Is it like, mech? Is it- Anna, yeah. Yeah. God of Construct. But, uh, as you enter this room, from both the halls you can hear the sound of steam and metal clanging. Okay, guys. They're not uh, there's two the ways. So okay, okay and look. There's three of us. Look, I'm not. I'm not thinking splitting up. So, well, I mean, don't. Know. <laughs> it's Thomas. Are you going for the double banana split maneuver? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not, it, it feels like Felix isn't even there, anyways. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Felix hears this. <laughs> wait, 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 are you talking in Dorvish? We are talking. Oh, we're talking. You know, they're just speaking in this this strange, like, like very uh, base of low language. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> because if you so get hurt or if I get hurt, we won't be able to reach each other. True. So I think we may want to. We should just we should just go. Or what do you think? Or we should go to a room together, all three of us. Oh, we probably should, right? Yeah. You know, you'll die alone. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Yeah. Really? Yes! <laughs> Which way? Can I roll perception check to uh, see if there's wind coming from one of the tunnels? Yeah. He's looking for an opening. It's smirk. Okay. Perception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Twelve. Oh my gosh. Twelve. I mean, it's better than some so, of the others. So you kind of... Um, you're you trying to hear for wind, you're trying to feel for it, and the right, there seems to be more, there, there seems to be a, like a bit more push to it. A little bit more of a draft. Let's go left. Left? Left. left. Alright, left. Right. Well, we're going left. Right. We're going left. So the people I'll, who have had a short rest... Hey. Uh, roll your hit points now. Can I uh, roll concentration and keep my temporary five? Concentration is a spell. It's it's concentration, it's, it's... but uh, constitution. No. Okay. You can't hold on to an effect. Okay, so then I'm just going to take my temporary five. Because I'm already fully Okay. Do you recover key points at long rest or short rest? I think it's short rest, like whenever I meditate. Give me a second. Constitution. So, so Okay, so you roll your hit dice with a d10. Oh, I was, I was fully healed. Uh, we, I was just, yeah, she was just. I was just making sure in case anything uh, chaos uh, happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm back to full health. Okay. Full health. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, whenever you finish a short rest, you gain all key points or long rest. Wow. You buy one of nice. Hit you so and much. roll your hit dice to regain health. <laughs> so like let them know we're going to the yeah. left side of the. I was the only one that really needed healing. I just want to tell us to use his okay. uh, night vision so, so we can. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's just like. I'm just gonna uh, the team not scouting. Team, team not, not scouting. scouting. What would you like to do? 
We're well, well let's go. everybody, I'm feeling quite relaxed now. <laughs> Shall we go? Sure. All right. I'd All right, like so. to think that Aiden was like doing like like that and bending over, <laughs> but he <laughs> was yoga. You were just like yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was straight up like. You just, just look, you just look at this human, and you're like, from your elven mind, you're like, what is this, this strange dance? He dabs. Pretty accurate, yeah. I'm, I'm just doing some jabs. <laughs> yeah. I'm just right. some jabs. So, would you like to follow them? Would you like to we're going freeze in. off? Yeah. Yeah, um, okay. yeah we're going to follow them. Right. Might so as you, well. So, you go down through the uh, ceramic and uh, brass path. Should I go first? Path. Was, um, more I armor. have dark vision. We have oh, dark vision. Yeah. We have dark vision. Okay, we both do. Okay. I think okay. I'll be behind. I'm lead. So. I'm better long range though. I need to get close to people to punch them. Okay, then you be in front. You be so, in the back. Right. Uh, team <laughs> scout. Yes. Yes. And team not so scout. Hey. Um. <laughs> so for team scout right now, so you're gonna take left. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna drop one of my two crowbars. <laughs> so you pull out one, two crowbars, and you drop one. Yes. I drop the red one. Alright, you drop the red one, it makes a clang against the ceramic of the floor, and... Please don't break it. Nothing happens. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more worried about someone finding his location. Do we <laughs> hear the clang? You do hear the clang. Alright, you guys, we're going where the clang was? Well, yep. you don't want to go where the clang was, because enemies... Well, they also went down here. They, they, are, yeah. they may be dead. They may be dead. <laughs> I like how me and you are down here, and they're worried about us being dead. <laughs> I think Felix would be the one that dies. <laughs> That's That's right. We're going to continue forward. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to go where the plane was? Right. Yeah. I drop. So and you and so, Team Scouts, you head left. Yep. So uh, the first thing you see as the doors, uh, as these these doors appear to you, already open into this mechanical hallway. There are gears, and there's more of those strange light fixtures that you saw earlier. And there is just this long hall with that seems to curve. Right now you can see two branching paths, and then you can continue forward. But the first thing that catches your eye is in the middle of the path, there is a glass case and a strange, um, like, metal you haven't seen before into a, made into a chain. It's very strange. It's almost like a manacle, but only on one side, and it curves really long. You can roll huh? anything you uh, can Is this think. Do you have any history? Is this scout? Do you have any history? Yeah. I want to look at it, though. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to look at it, too. Uh, as, well, you, you, Felix. as you get closer. What's that? Don't doors automatically have something for... We have stone, 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 stone. Yeah, we have stone. So, as you get closer, uh, there's a faint, like, red glow to it. It's magical in some form. Hmm. Can I roll for Arcana? Yes. Yeah. I'll do the same thing. Nice. Arcana. Arcana. Uh, it's, it's like the... It's the third one? No, what is it? Magic. Oh, magic. magic. Oh, yeah. I think it was I got mine. Eleven. Three? Eleven. Eleven. Um, it's a very simple magic. It's pretty easy to identify. Um, it has something to do with strength, although you're not sure. It may not be a strength boost, but this chain may pull on itself or have some form of extra pulling movement to it. Chain? A super strong chain. Mm. And it's it's a team non scout. What would you like to do? <laughs> uh, Alright, we're following towards the sound. Yeah. All right, so we were I was you, wanting to meet up with Team Scout. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that crowbar though. Yeah, you pick up the crowbar yeah. and you also as you notice there's this strange green liquid that's been like spilled. You don't notice because you don't have dark vision, so you kinda have to be well, aware. Isn't it illuminating? No, no, it's not. No. He broke it. Oh, okay. Well, so you kind of have to be led a bit, but uh, you I'm go to where the crowbar me. is, and there's branching off, and you you hear the familiar sound of Felix talking. <laughs> <laughs> the loving, wonderful. <laughs> it's changed. I'm gonna go ahead and be like, 
Because there's, the, there's a trail of that goo, right? Eh, a, not a thick trail, but there's little droplets, little droplets. And, but it stops in this room. Okay. okay so. And you can hear Felix talking from the left. Okay. I'll go, I, I guess I'll go ahead and shout ahead and be like, what have y'all found in there? And you hear just this echo, what have you found in there? What have you found in there? What have you found in there? And nothing happens. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> My bad. What have you found in there? What have you found in there? Yeah, the monodromes start pouring from the wall. <laughs> we found a chain. <laughs> chain. Chain. Alright. Okay. Chain. The acoustics here are great. Oh. What is that at least? Yeah. Where's our bark on the heels? So should we go ahead and, do y'all want to go ahead and meet up with them or? Yeah. Yeah, we should probably meet up with them. Alright. So, uh, you all meet up at this, this case for the, the chain. There is um, a hallway that leads, uh, a large hallway that leads off where the doors are closed. And it has these, these weird letterings on it. I don't think any of you speak modern. Speak Chinese. Oh, that's Draconic. That's, <laughs> you speak Draconic? I, I don't yeah, think man. it's a player option. Hey. We have a monodrone in my backpack. Oh, okay, just we can just, like, just hold it and see like, like, where it is. But there is also another path, uh, another large door. This one seems to be under more lock and key. Mm. Break it down. Hey, okay. Yeah, we could try to break it down. Quick question. Uh, did any of you guys pick up my crowbar? No. No. I did. Oh. There's also the path uh, <laughs> further down where you can see more of like the gear work and where it's more of the motion and the sounds of it. So you all you all have the slight smell of just like, uh, like oil. So we should go towards the gears. No, you think so? I think we should go towards the gears. This I'm okay a, with going towards the gears. This is a very yeah. Good. I can go towards the gears. So We've already made twenty bad decisions. I mean that's true. Mm -hmm. but I'm just thinking. We about don't like have to door, 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 We're already kind of deep door. enough. I don't think we could. We should probably keep splitting up anyways. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So we should probably just all yeah, probably go, stick together. Uh, go towards gears? Yeah, yeah. I'm down with this. Alright, so as you go towards the gears, there's uh, one main like pathway that leads like to this large set of staircase down into this, this, this strange metal pile that is glowing in the green light of these um, of these uh, these kind of liquid torches. And uh, further down, there seems to have been like a cave-in where there's just a bunch of rocks and some of the gears are stuck trying to move something that isn't there and smashing against a boulder. Um, and there is kind of this, this, this moss that hangs over uh, some part of the, uh, uh, of the uh, wall structure. Is there any like um, monodrome Rust particles or dust particles, or any monogram oh, yeah. like bodies. Roll investigation. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. I guess the proper word for that would be Yeah. Ooh, nat twenty. Nat twenty. So you know everything about monograms. You, you, know everything. you, 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 you really <laughs> try to pull on your senses, and you, you look. And it's specifically the staircase. There's kind of this smell of old iron, and you, you, you it's, it's it's thick. There, it's it's got to be. There's got to be something monodrome there. All right, I'm gonna go over to that area where I just yeah. feel the it's iron thick. radiating. And, and this area is more illuminated. There's like a one of these these light these liquid torches like. Every ten feet, all right, on each side of the wall. Can, so can I see what would be emanating the iron? Yes. Now? As you go, you walk forward and you walk forward, and it's this, and you all see him walk forward down these uh, staircase, and you see this large pile of just monodrome arms and legs, uh. like a, uh, like. Um, and it's it just it's just it's so thick on the floor. You don't know if this is a large pile spanning feet. You could probably like stand on this. Just you can't see the floor. 
Is there any heads? Uh, so make another investigation oh, check. I mean, yeah. We just need a skull. Boy, we already have one. Like, <laughs> but more skull, more money. That's um, oh, yeah. yeah. Chasm Eleven. Eleven. Uh, right. Looking through, <laughs> you you go through a different thing, and one thing does catch your eye. It's not a monodrome skull, but as you pull out, you recognize the exoskeleton of one of the ant creatures. And you pull out what seems to be a small armor fashioned out of its uh, body. It is too small for you, but it might fit for it. Look, look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> you went okay. to armor. Can I put it on? Uh, you can. So can we see all um, of the... Oh, sorry. It, it does make you lose your unarmored defense ability. Which is... Which is adding your constitution to your AC, which is already calculated. You don't know exactly how to wear this armor yet, so you don't know if it's better than what you have already. Mm. Nah, no, I'll do that. Yeah. Do it. Okay. It, might, it might fetch a pretty price, though. Yeah, if, if you don't want it, I'll take it back, so I'll right, yeah. sell it. Okay, so can we see the monodrome arms? Like, yes, uh, just, just arms, legs, Anyone else concerned? Wings. <laughs> I mean, most can, likely it's probably... This ant, or ants. What does concern you the is there are some arms that are much larger than others for maybe monodromes that are of a bigger model. Can I grab the bigger monodrome arms and put them in my pouch? It takes some, some folding, but yeah, you do so. Okay. How many do I have? How many? <laughs> All of them. Do you them just loot as many fit. as you can? Yeah. Uh, that's about five. They're like. Five they're arms. like, yeah, they're thin, <laughs> but they're twice the size of your arm. <laughs> and like, not in size, in length. Yeah, but they just like metal bends, and you can just like package it easily. Shall it's, we continue then? Yep. What's yeah. that area with the moss? Is there anything there? Can I, roll I mean, that's kind of the area we're yeah. in, right? What? The area oh, of the moss? Oh, it's, it's, so you went down some stairs, moss was on the other side of the wall. Oh, okay. Okay. You can dig through more here, and it seems to, a pathway for more parts seems to continue. So I think it's just continue forward. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. There are six of us. We continue forward. We continue forward. Going forward, um, and these kind of um, uneasy areas. Am I, so I'm leaving the group now? I guess we are forward. Yeah. Can everyone make me a perception check? Well, oh, of geez. course I can. All right. Um, uh, as the leader, I'm going to take out one oh, of the tablets, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to poke around on the floor Perception. just to, like, check for traps and anything and see if anything grabs it. And it's not, like, going to be a 10-foot pole, as usual. Yeah, it's so a javelin. Like, yeah, it's probably, like, five feet. You can roll investigation instead of uh, perception if you want. It's not. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. 17. 17? 18. 18? Five. I'm gonna go with the investigation. Five. 17. 17? 8. 8. 8. So, as you're looking through, some of these parts seem to be um, in disrepair. A lot of them are damaged in some way. As you keep going forward, you kind of hit a dead end. But people who got above a 15, you see these, these pipes above you. From these pipes, there's something moving. I want you all to make a dex save. People who noticed the pipes before have advantage. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay. I needed that. I've been waiting for dex. That's what I'm okay. doing. So wait, what do I, I need to roll? Yeah, yeah, everyone everyone needs to roll a dex save. But if you saw the pipe beforehand, you, you have advantage. Why am I not getting advantage? You roll twice and take the higher roll. Oh, so yeah. I just roll once. Yeah, you just roll them. Can I roll them together? Oof. Or do I have to roll them? I I them. You can roll them together. Okay. Oh, I, got I got a 13 and a 3. I got Six. a 7. Yeah. I got an oh, I got a uh, 16. What would you roll? 16? 16. I got an 18. I got 18. Plus 18? 18. And you? Oh, 16. 16? Uh, 6. 6? 7? 7? 8. 8? 17. 17. So, you did it about as well as a giant of, metal robot. <laughs> even if all of you don't see it as quickly, acid starts spreading oh. out of these pipes. 
And a few of you are able to move. Um, but Flint, Chasm, and us. Um, as like the acid starts pouring on you, you move as quickly to get out of just the field of pain. But you all take too much damage. I'm fine. You all take um four acid damage. I'm fine. So call it. You're able to avoid the main brunt of the force, and this seems to be now that you've seen like the acid pipes and like. Most of these arms seem arms and legs and wings and uh, oh, strange manacles seem to be, uh, and this acid keeps flowing. And as the acid flows, it like cleans some of the monodrome parts, and some of the more broken ones just dissolve in it. And the um, and you can hear this, and as the parts start moving more towards the acid vat, it's not at a high enough pace where you need to run, but those of you who got splashed, it's feeling pretty painful. So, uh, I think I figured out what this is, and we need to get out of here. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, right, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm in pain. So, as you, you get out of there, the ones you have some, like, you have some, like, scarring on, like, your shoulder. You, your, your head is a little more, um, Loppy and some of your scales are just like, like not as like tough and like they're movable. Oh, my yeah. man bun's yeah. ruined. <laughs> my man bun. Not the man bun. No. <laughs> we gotta get back. Well, <laughs> where do you go now? Okay, so my so chef. I, I put on the map and say. Well, we're still. We just got to like the bottom of the stairs and we're going up the stairs. Yeah. So yeah. there's still those. Oh, there's that the, weird that. door with the writing on it, and then there's the super locked door. That we Wait, to. so y'all still want to stay in, even though like we have that creature down the hall or something? Or I'm, well, we have a we, we have a simple look. One. We have a model drone in the backpack. We just get the skull out of that. Oh, oh, or or we could turn it in alive and get more money. Yeah, I'm down. With oh yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, what is that? No. Mark. There is something. Can everyone tell me their passive perception? That's a good uh, question. Nine. Nine? Yeah. I believe mine is nine. Where is this at? Oh. It's going to be oh, under... Oh, 13. 13? Yeah. Really? Hi. <laughs> where? 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 Oh, it's uh, here. It should be under your skill. Oh, I don't have anything. It's eight plus your perception modifier. Okay, so eight then... Eight plus your perception modifier? Mm -hmm. Okay. Twelve. 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 Yeah. So your percep... What's your oh. perception? Oh, I have two... Ten. Uh, so ten it's, uh, it's not nine, it's seven. Ten? Seven? Because I thought ten. it was ten. Oh, I have ten. ten. All right. So, um, as you start talking about the monodrome in the bag, uh, looking uh. at Flint's bag, it's a little less a little less puffed out. Dang it. So the monodrome's gone? He stealthed out of there. Ooh. Rip. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is the monodrome a uh, con? It is. And I, it's my favorite enemy. It is! And I can have advantages on survival checks to track the beast creature and on NT checks to recall information about them. Mm -hmm. Do you want to recall information or do you want to try to track it down? I want to track it down. Alright, roll survival. Fine, little pink. <laughs> oh, I like the pink. pink. You want to go pink? I wish I'd done that you wanted to see. Survival plus two. Nineteen. Nineteen. So, while well, you were talking, uh, Felix goes to where the area near Flint's bag and just starts examining. He's looking for, like, these tiny metal metallic boots, and he... I look for four. <laughs> Iron. He's been here. <laughs> Ross. Pulls out a monocle. And it, and it leads you to this, to the, to where the moss is. And yeah. it ends at where the, um, moss goes. So since Felix, so since Felix licked the floor, does he have to roll for tetanitis now? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a long-term thing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't quite ingest enough. Yeah. So, so what, did you find anything? Yes, I did. Awesome. It's over there. And he points out a lot, lot of moss. A lot of 
Cool, so then... I spoke to the box down. As soon as your hand goes to attack it, it goes directly through the moss itself. Yeah. It's not actually there. It's an illusion. Huh. It's an illusion. And then I just start walking through it. Yeah, walk, so you start walking through, through it. And as you 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 walk through it, um, uh, you can climb, kind of hear this uh, the shaking uh, metal clattering that you heard when Flint was holding it. Uh-oh. So you go to a, a small room, and as you get there, there are just a bunch of, there is a, a chest. Instead of it having a keyhole, it has a gear where it goes. And inside the chest is shaking. Oh! Okay, guys, we, this is what we're going to do. Is there anything else? Can we carry the chest? I have a crowbar. Can we just try to open the chest with the crowbar? Or maybe is there anything else the in the chest? room? Yeah. Um... No, it seems to be kind of like a treasury room. All right, so it's just that chest in there? Uh, Can you open the chest without a gear? Or do we need a gear to open it? Um, you don't know. Throw it against the wall. I I, I try to open it. You open it, and you see a monodrome cowering in plates and forks and spoons of gold. Can I just knock it out? I I I just want to knock it out. Is he going to try to do like non-lethal damage? Yes. Or we could just close the chest. We could just, we could we just close the chest. He could just close the chest. I am startled. But he wants to punch it. I am startled. You're startled? You're not, how are you this, startled? This you knew what was in there. No, this is a reaction. Him. This so, is just a reaction. So oh. are you going to attack? Yes. It's not facing you. It's cowering oh, at it. Oh, come on. And you open it and you're like, huh. <laughs> All right, roll the attack. <laughs> you had advantage because this is a sneak attack. Cool. Oh, I feel bad. Fifteen plus. Yeah, oh God. No, this is an unarmed strike. Nineteen. That does hit. Wait, wait yeah. you have advantage. Did you do? You might get a twenty. Yeah. You might get a twenty. No. No. Nineteen. Nineteen. You do hit. Roll damage. Cool. We could probably just take this. <laughs> we could. We're good at taking. We're going to take it. Filled with gold. Yeah. yeah. We're no, it's it. no, it's fine. No. It's filled with four spoons. Made of gold. Made of gold. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We could just let the guy go and then take yeah, the chest. Yes. I mean, no, we can still get gold Six. with the monogram. So you mm. punch, and you you were trying to go soft, but you punch. Oh no! I'm through the monogram. <laughs> well, wait, wait, just get the skull. And just grab. If I punch it, the it, it doesn't have a skull. You're just you're just grabbing it ears. All right, cool. And as you and you as you kind of like your hand's stuck. I take my hand. Can I take my hand out? I, I punch mean, the wall. And if it, and it just Very smashes good. against the wall, can, can I roll? and it starts disintegrating. Can I roll medicine on to <laughs> the, the creature? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't wait for this to do nothing. I, I'm so sorry. What does a five do? <laughs> nothing. You just pull out a band-aid and some <laughs> <laughs> Do I get favored? With, no. With, it's not an intel. Is, is it an intelligence roll? <laughs> Well, oh, medicine? Medicine? Wisdom. 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 It's going to turn to dust soon. There's, there's <laughs> not a lot you know what to do. Right? Well, we, we did everything we could. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> we could have closed the chest. We could have just like, gotten the guy out, I taken the gold, and we fine. Oh, yeah, right. you find just a bunch of yeah. gold and silverware. Well, great. So you guys want to take the chest? Yeah, let's get it. All right. Um, I feel I guess terrible. I can I'll really carry it. Oh. I'm almost seven foot tall. Yeah, you can. What's <laughs> your strength? Huh? My strength is 16, so it's plus three. And you count as a large creature, correct? Uh, actually, I think I'm medium. Okay. So, 16. You 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 have to, like, hold it, hold it. Mm. But you can carry it. Yeah. Yes. Can I do a stealth roll? And with that stealth roll, go to the door with all the locks. Stealth away from them? Yeah, stealth away from them. Sure, roll stealth. I can't wait for this to backfire. No, we're gonna hear the explosion and just be like, no, we're staying here. He's gonna break into a room without us knowing. Nine. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Does anyone have a higher passive perception than thirteen? I have thirteen. You see him start slinking away. Boy? (laughs) Boy? Where are you going? Nowhere. That's a lie. I think we're gonna go with you now. 
Where are you going, Felix? It's kind of weird. Where are you going, dude? Yeah, where are you going? Where are you going again? Where are you going, Felix? Yeah. <laughs> you have deception on her? Well, we're all noticed now. Like, yeah. We're all noticed. Yeah. Like, we all noticed that weird. you're walking away. Yes. Say what you're going to say, and if it's deception or persuasion, you don't tell her, but you roll for which one it is. Okay. But can I roll against that or no? Yeah, it's called insight. Cool. Yeah, insight. Mm -hmm. You okay with us? Yeah. Are, are we? Is he rolling against all of us? It's or just currently, it's two. just them two. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna wait for you to go first, though. I'm getting kind of queasy in this room. So you I'm have to roll the section first. Into a quarter. Uh huh. Don't think Alright. What am I doing? Section? Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, that's pretty good. Six. No, that's a one. Oh, it's a nat one, but plus yeah. my plus my inside. It's, 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 it's still a nat one. You, no, so really? you look at him and he's oh, like, and like the way he's the way he's breathing and just he looks so concerned for his respiratory health. You're just like, poor guy. Yeah, I don't <laughs> believe him. So no one else here believes him. Did, did we notice him trying to sneak out? Well, oh, she yeah. only did. Oh, okay. Well, no, she, no, she, she said. Boy, where are you going? And he turned around. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't notice him slink off in the first place. No. You just notice her call out him. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so we, what so shall we do now? She could have been asking for direct. <laughs> what shall we do now? Well, oh, we have the gold. We got the gold. He's queasy, queasy, we so still... like, to be nice to him, we should probably all head out. We should. Yeah. Do, do we still need to get a mono drum? I really want to. I really want to do. gold. <laughs> <laughs> and not murder it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Okay, we have the two doors. We got the door with the weird language and the door with the locks on it. Mm -hmm. Which one do you guys want to do? I'm not the door with the locks. I think we should do the door with the locks. Yeah, yeah so that's right. Right. Go to the door with the locks. locks. What would you like to do to these locks? I'm trying to do I have a crowbar. I want to <laughs> crowbar the Roll athletics. Whatever I can do with the crowbar. How big is the door? Uh, the door is about the size of three chasms. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is it made out of? Ooh. It's made out of brass. Brass. Ten. Ten? It's, 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 it's tough metal. Yeah, you're, there, you're not it's really getting any, through it. any leeway or any, like, I was going to talk to you. Did see me try to crowbar? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? You need any help, Felix? No! If we were to charge at the door, would we get hurt from it? Does anyone have lockpicks? Uh, Probably not. Probably. Nope. Nope. Don't have uh, uh, Thieves tools would have lockpicks on it. I have. Yeah, I don't get no, that. I thought tools. We're gonna make. We have a bedroll. Yeah. That'll do it. I'll shove sleep. it in the lock. <laughs> like, no. Uh, where is it? Are the locks oh, because I can get repaired Anyhow, by like a box oh, cool. stuff. Some of oh, them looks so like regular like chain locks, and some of them looks like like uh, like just oh, around wait. the the holders of the mm -hmm. door, and some of them look more monodrome and architecture built into the door. Are there um, any animals around? <laughs> no. Dang it. I want to try to use my crowbar. All right, roll out. <laughs> athletics. <laughs> they told me you didn't pick up. Yeah, there has to be a better I way to do this. I have my own crowbar. Can I make a pers as they're doing this, can I just make a perception check so we don't get ambushed? Yeah, mm -hmm. same. At least I don't. And, uh, yeah, I want to do it. What are you doing? Perception. Hey, I got 19. Let's go. I got... 14? 14? Yeah. I got 18. <laughs> you good there? So there's, there's, there's four I locks stare at the darkness. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see Usk just just jam and jam, and he gets kind of a little frustrated. In a moment, he just kind of hits one of the locks really hard, and it breaks off. Okay. That's all right. Oh. But there's still there's still the other locks. This is not gonna the end well. two regular chain locks, mm -hmm. and then there's the lock that's with the door that looks like one of the gear keys. All right, I want to try to rip the chain lock off. <laughs> Wait, we could. Yeah, if someone has a, I can use my battle axe. I have an axe. Maybe. We can. Yeah, we, we can go to town. We could also look for keys. I have a warhammer. So yeah, I, got, keys. I got a negative two. I mean, no, not a negative <laughs> two. <laughs> a, a two. Oh, oh your dice broke. We're, we're looking around. Yeah. I, uh, I, I looked around with them too, and I got an eighteen. Okay, so you don't. I, I just like oh, stare down at the ground. My old friend. Um, I got nineteen. You for looking around? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> looking around. Um. Uh, you noticed, just because of the path you took, 
and that you didn't get um, too close to where the um, the other door is. At the other door, there is one of those pipes above the door that spit acid on you earlier. Oh my! Y'all, y'all stop hitting yeah. the door. There's the acid. No, no, no. On the door on the, the other, other side. One, the one oh. with the runes and or the. Oh, okay, so not near us. Can I can, can, can I go over with? Them? Can I go you over with my javelin to disarm the trap? Like, knock on the door with the javelin. And yeah. Kind of so you knock on the door. Uh, with my javelin. Which door? So like I. Did so, so like at a distance. You like poke. You knock on the door. Yeah. Do do. And just and just just a quick spray, just goes down on. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And it, it and it and it. Is it continuous? Like if it's I do just, it again, will it spray? You do again? it again. Nothing happens. All right, disarmed. Oh sweet. All right, there's none above me. No. Okay. And then I get the other two chains off. Uh, what'd you roll? Just gonna keep uh, ripping things apart. I, I rolled one, I got a 14, that's when the first one fell. Yeah. And then do I need to roll again? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm sorry. 17 plus yeah. 1. So, so, what, uh, Felix was not able to do with the crowbar. Us, who, uh, using the martial training, he understands. He may not be good with locks, but he's good at identifying weaknesses with his eyes. And just hits where the chain's weakest to break it. There's still the <laughs> the, 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 the the cog lock. You know what? I was gonna do that. Man. Last time, <laughs> last time the cog lock on the chest didn't do anything, so I'm gonna try to open it. <laughs> 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 it's not working. You guys wanna check see if anything's in here to help us with that cog lock? In where? Yeah. Exactly. In this door. The door oh, that was that yeah. Yeah. The, with the strange writing. Right. Can yes. I check the body of the small Omnicron, not Omnicron, Monodrone. Monodrone. Monodrone thing to see if he has that specific it's, key. Well, it's dust now. It's yeah. Dust, yeah. So dust Even dust. his pockets? Yes. It is <laughs> his pockets. There is it's metal compartments that it's turn to dust, and you find two gold. <laughs> two gold. Hell yeah. I want, um, so it doesn't work. I walk over to the other door. Walk over to the other door? Yeah. And then, yeah, is there a way I can open that one? Uh, it seems like this one is, isn't locked. Alright, okay. go ahead and open okay. it. Okay, open it. Alright, as you open it, you see four pillars. And on these pillars, there's these large metallic ballistas. No. What? And in the middle of the room, these pillars, these four pillars, um, uh, in this much taller room than before, in the middle, there is what looks like a, a five-petaled large metal flower, and on top of it, there is a key. Oh. All right. But there's like two ballistas. Four. Four. One for each balloon. I just uh, like be giant crossbows. Yeah, just giant yeah. crossbows. I'm gonna, gonna like, take my stuck to a certain area. It's a turret. Wait, in the I key, have... is it hanging? No, it's in Actually, the middle of the room. Can, can I, do I have silk rope. I was going to throw no, my jacket. I have rope. I have silk rope. Yeah, I, 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 I got an arrow, and I have dark vision. So we could yeah, we could tie the rope to it. So do you enter this room? Yeah, you're in this room. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I have rope. We could rope tie. So I tied to an arrow. Yeah, uh, Felix, I want you to make a intelligence roll about constructs for me, please. Okay, Intelligence roll. I'm not very smart. Well, he does have uh, advantage. Okay, that was the first one. That was an 11. Mm -hmm. Roll with the advantage. Take the, yeah. Take the 13. 13. That flower pattern, that's not just a weird metal flower. That is what's known as a petrodrome. The leaders of the monodrome uh, uh, hierarchy. I would like to do a stealth. Oh, wait, I have a spell for that. Towards it. No, 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 no. Are you going to stealth towards it? I'm going to stealth towards it. Pass without trace. I'm gonna stealth towards it. Alright, without. Are you going to cast Pass without trace as he moves? Wait, so he's moving towards it. At the do same it. time, I don't want to anger this. No, I'm gonna yes. let you do this on your own. I'm gonna let you do this on your own. But it's gonna oh, get no, bad at all of us. Yeah. I know, but. Wait, but if you do pass without trace. 
Do you want me to do it on him? Uh, it's too late. Okay. So as, he's, as he's stealthing forward, I move back okay. out into like 19. the larger room. Okay, let's go. Hey, 19. 19? 19. You successfully stealth uh, forward towards this uh, this sleeping construct. I feel like it's gonna be Indiana Jones style where if it moves the ballistas are gonna go off. Just saying. I'm very, I'm very interested in what's gonna happen. Can I do a perception to see if the bed is weighted? The it's the key is laying on the monodrome himself. Oh, okay. you gotta pick that up. What's it? Yeah. Can what would I? happen if we shot the monodrome? Oh, oh well, it's probably sneaking. would get upset. Monodrome would be upset. Well, no, get, but you have still uh, sneak attack. Well, the pass without trace. You have advantage. You would have advantage on it because it would be a stealth attack, right? Yeah, it lasts for an hour. Well, no, if you but attack it. If I attack it? Yeah. It still wouldn't be enough to kill it. It still wouldn't you be enough. You gotta remember, there's like four turrets. Yeah, yeah oh, turrets. yeah. What, what are the are the pillars? How sturdy are they? Uh, they look <laughs> pretty <laughs> strong, but even if we not that, we'll unbreakable. Although, Question: are the pillars, I know, but if if we got pillars, yeah, you can do fine. The pillars, them. after further explain, after further examination. I want you to roll a perception check on the pillars. Can, can I as well? Also, perception? Nine. Um, this is pretty easy to spot. Uh, there's these pipes running up the pillars that you can probably shimmy up. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and shimmy up one. Of the, and the pillars are holding the, onto the, um, ballista? Ballista? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm there's gonna, a I'm, ballista at, at the, the top, top of each four ballista. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna shimmy up one of them. Mm -hmm. And, um, do I have to roll to get up there? Um, roll acrobatics or athletics. I'm rolling acrobatics. Right? Okay. After all these years. <laughs> all these <laughs> years. Quick question. What did you get? Not one. <laughs> Not one. So, as, as you start climbing, your claws are making a lot of noise on these pipes. Oh my god. And we at one so point, well. you lose your footing, and you just... <laughs> down wow. the entire pipe. The acrobatics. <laughs> and you see each of the petals of this metallic flower, an eye opens on them. And, and each of the ballistas sense. start whirling with a blue energy. I want to... And... I backed out everyone, everyone! Roll initiative! Roll initiative! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god! Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not there sorry. better be a skull at the end of this. There better be... I'm still holding the chest. What's wrong with me? Guys, guys. Oh. Plus, <laughs> yes. We are having a bad day. We are having a bad day. Oh right. Well, um, um, before we go in on this fight with the Petrodrome and its defenses, I think we'll leave it off on a cliffhanger. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back soon.